Hey there fellow travelers, my name is Elion, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Espresso Glow Reshade Installer. I've shown many of you different ways to install Reshade. This one will install Vanilla Reshade with all the shaders that you need, plus the Espresso Glow presets. This install will also help you by getting rid of the Astrologian, Dancer, Bard, and Monk job gauge problem. It will include an additional add-on to reshade that will make those job gauges show up normally instead of having these weird textured boxes around them. The nice thing about Espresso Glow is it is very simple to install and you can always update it later on without any issues. So to start, we're going to head over to Espresso Lollafell's tweet with the release of Espresso Glow. I will provide this link in the description down below, so make sure to click on that, give the tweet a like, give it a retweet, do whatever you need because this is fantastic. We're gonna go up here and click on the bit.ly link, which will open up a Google Drive to the download. Now, since we are intentionally installing Reshade, we're going to choose the Espresso Glow 2023-0212 UI Fix Edition. So we're just going to right click on that and click download. You're gonna click download anyway, and you're gonna save it. Next, we're going to open up where we downloaded it to. For me, it's my downloads folder. We're going to right click on the Espresso Glow zip. We're going to go to properties and we're going to make sure to click unblock down here to make sure that we get all the files that are necessary and hit okay. Then we're going to unzip the file. You can right click and just click extract all this box will open up and click Extract. After that, you are going to open the Espresso Glow folder and you're going to see an Espresso Glow 2023-0212 UI Fix version two application. We're going to right click on that and we're going to click Run as Administrator. And as you can see, we have the Espresso Glow Reshade Installer. This is very simple. You're just going to browse for your game folder, which will typically be in this PC, Windows C, Program Files 86, Square Enix, Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn, and then Game. And then once we select the game folder, we're going to click OK. Next, we're going to set our screenshots folder. So we're just going to click Set Screenshots Folder, and for me, it's going to be in my pictures, Final Fantasy XIV, and Reshade. And we're gonna just click OK. You can set this up as any folder that you'd like. Next, we are going to click Verify Paths and Installation Options. It's gonna tell us everything looks good to go. Reshade 5.6 and Espresso Glow version 2023 will be installed into your Final Fantasy XIV game folder. And then we just click OK and we click Install Espresso Glow. And bam, it is installed. That simple. You don't need to do anything else. So we can close the application now. We can go to our game folder. You'll notice there's a bunch of extra things here. That's mostly because I have backups on backups and app backups for things. But if we scroll down, you'll see it's installed a Reshade Presets and Reshade Shaders folder which has everything you need. And now, let's head into the game. Now, once we get into the game, as you can see, we already have a preset enabled. That is because Espresso Glow has installed and preset up their own presets. So we can hit Shift F2 to open the reshade menu which is exactly what Espresso Glow has set the button keybind to. You can change this yourself later on. And you can see we have the Shadowbringers gameplay preset enabled. You can also open the list and change to anything else we want, such as ambient. I'm gonna go back to gameplay though. And one of the things you may want to do once you've set this all up is go into settings and change any of these settings you want different. Like here, the screenshot key is print screen. I prefer for that to be shift F2, uh, F12. <laughs> and so I've changed it to that. 
Another thing I like to do is on the textures here for the paths, I like to actually add the same thing that the shaders have. So that backslash and then two asterisks. The reason is because if I install any shaders later, I'd like for their textures to be in their own folders and this just makes it simpler. It's gonna search for those folders if you have it set up this way. Anything else you may wanna change, you can do here in the menu at any time. Now to show that the job gauges have been fixed, we're going to exit out of reshade and we're going to switch to Bard. And as you can see, the Bard job gauge has been fixed. We can also switch to Astrologian. Job gauge has been fixed. We can switch to Monk. Job gauge has been fixed. And we can switch to Dancer. Job gauge has been fixed. Thank you all for checking out this video. Make sure that you check the links down below in the description. Hit that subscribe button if you liked what I gave you here and you want to come back for more. And I will see you the next time. Have a good one, my buns.